Hello, it's Cliff and I'm going to talk about nursery feng shui. Oops. So the nursery is one of the most important places to feng shui to lay out properly because a baby can feel its surroundings more acutely than any of us adults. We are so obsessed with technology and this and that and our work that we don't really notice our surroundings so much. And a baby who has nothing to do but to look around his surroundings, will feel the surroundings even more. And everyone knows that feng shui is about feeling the balance and flow of your surroundings, which is why it's so important to get your nursery's positioning right. So straight away, the first thing that you need to look to start with is, okay, let's, let's look at the list. You have the cot or the crib or the bed. You have the changing table. Um, next to the changing table, there will be a, there'll be a little bin to put your laundry or the diapers, things like that, or two of them. And then you will have the nursing chair. This is where you sit and feed your baby, very important. And finally, you need storage. Storage to put things. Babies have a lot of clothes and a lot of stuff. So, but in order of priority, you start with the bed first. The crib, the cot, the bassinet, whatever you call it, the thing where the bed baby sleeps on and spends the most time. In feng shui, there's this thing known as the command position, which is where you normally place your bed. So in any bedroom, you will look at the best place in the room. Your bed has to be against a wall, Have you have good sight of the door, you have light from the window. So in a similar way, the crib has to be in the command position of the room, which means that the baby must be able to see the door. So let's say there's a big piece of furniture here. You should not put your bed inside here because the baby will not know who is coming in. And also, if you need to run into the room, you need to have a proper line of sight to be able to dart right straight to your baby to save your baby from whatever mosquitoes or rats or whatever. So it needs to be very, very um, in line, in view of the door so you can see everything. And the next thing is that you don't want your bed to be too far from the window because your baby needs some light, needs some energy. Where well, While adults, we have a lot of stresses and busyness in life. We are okay to sleep in this dark corner. For a baby, they want to be a bit closer to the window where there's nice um, vitality and energy. Of course, the room has to be in a quiet area, so it, this should not be a highway. If there's a highway, then you don't want to put your bed there. Okay, so anyway, when the bed is around here, you also want to avoid being too close to the window because, that, that I mean, there's dangers of the baby climbing up the curtains or jumping out the window. So try to avoid it like that. And the other thing about feng shui is that your bed has to be against a wall, right? Many parents, they put their beds like this. So the, the baby has no support from the back of the head. You could do this, but then there's no support from the side. Ideally, you want to put it in a corner so they have support from both the top of their head and their sides. But don't... Um, close out the baby too much with furniture everywhere and um, try to keep it kind of open as well so you can reach your baby easily so that's the bed the most important thing which means this is the best place to put your bed not like this not like this not like this this is a bit too floaty and definitely not sorry i almost forgot to mention definitely not like this because this is right caught in the middle of the path between the door and the window there's too much energy rushing back and forth so oh and of course Classic feng shui example, never point the feet to the door. So here, this is my best place to put the bed. So with that, you want to decide where to put the changing table. Because this is a this table is where you change the baby, you have the pool and the diapers, and you have the bin with the storage. This is considered a place of waste, and you don't want to be too close to the baby's head. Like, you don't want to put your, your, your changing table there, especially the bin next to your baby's head. It needs to at least be a bit further away. I would put it here. Not too far, mind you, because you'll be running back and forth to carry the baby to change and stuff. So, good distance and the bin should be as far from the baby as possible. Something like this. And then the next most important thing is the nursing chair. So, this would be also a kind of command position. So, you don't want to be seated here. You don't want to not be able to see the door when you're nursing. Imagine you're feeding a baby and someone comes in. You'll be shocked, right? So, have it in a place that you can see the door you can get good light. So this would be a nice position. And any spare space, that's where you can put your storage items, maybe here, maybe here. Very simple, but of course, every room has their own little quirks. So remember the, the, the list of priorities. Start with the baby's bed. Make sure it's in a nice, comfortable position, the command position in feng shui. And then you lay everything else around it. So I hope this helps. And now you know.